Bubble Beep. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to another Space Weather Update. My name is Alexis of Ascension Diaries. Of course, today is Sunday, August 29th. It is currently 2.53 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, wherein I'm recording this. And tonight, this report will be featured on One Foot and Five D's Space Force News, episode number 49. So come join us tonight and at around 8.08 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. I myself will be going live to discuss space weather because we have a lot to talk about and I might even watch some other YouTubers reports on my stream with you tonight because there is a lot that's been going on. Our current moon is in the last quarter phase in the sign of Gemini. Next Sunday when I see you, we will be in the new moon in Leo which involves the heart. So we're going to have a next, the next Sunday is going to be interesting. Biggest news right now is that we are in a solar flare party. Basically, we have been having solar flares consistently going into C and M class even, which is mid-level solar flares there. We had one large M class on this Saturday, just around 24 hours ago. This is really fresh information we were seeing the behavior of these solar flares coming in over the last week basically but the biggest one was this last Saturday and we are currently in the conditions to be receiving a lot of that a lot of these CMEs and ejections today even and so I actually passed out on the couch around noon which is not like me at all I slept for about an hour and then I watched some reports saying hey those CMEs are going to be impacting today and I was like oh that might have been why I completely just left my body in the middle of the day and here's another example of just a big juicy CME and heading our way and washing over us there's actually two which you can see here in both these models in a way they aren't fully aligned these two models but I have been watching the CMEs racing towards us and watching them pop out of this particular graphic around the 26th the 27th you saw that bright flash there and even into the 28th there's been some CME ejections like you can see so we are for sure in a very busy alleyway of solar activity all of these bright spots here and even down here this was where the large this is where the large M class solar flare left yesterday and that area is also in a way kind of dissipating in its power and in its polarity I was seeing today so we shouldn't see too much more power coming out of there but yes the 28th we had our biggest storm and tonight we may still be expecting a lot of aurora borealis those of you hanging out in the northern hemisphere those Canadians and Europeans over there check out the Aurora Borealis tonight and see what you can see because the predictions are that there's going to be more solar wind impacting and we're currently seeing those numbers kind of increase as I'm reporting to this to you now the solar wind behavior and the polarity shifts on the solar of the the surface of the sun have been quite interesting the last 24 hours so anything can really happen this Schumann resonance is also showing behavior over the last two days in the lower brainwave area I would say from around 2 Hertz to around 13 Hertz we're seeing most of the amplification which is from Delta Theta Alpha brainwave areas but we aren't amplifying the beta brainwave and gamma brainwave states as much and here's some more information about the amplitude of the specific Schumann resonance or earth resonance it wasn't too high in the most recent activity that's happening right now this afternoon a 27 amplitude but the Q factor is actually jumping up for the fourth Schumann resonance in an interesting way fun notes we can go into that more tonight Italy is in the lower lower range of data right now the biggest amount of information that they're offering is from the 24th an episode on the 24th which is fine I'm also seeing a little bit more information here from Alberta Canada the stations there are also picking up on a bit of light if you want any of these resources go to my link tree and go to space weather links pick your favorite start watching it on your own There's even the global consciousness dot has been hanging out in the greens and blues today so it's not all bad and tonight we'll go over the post from my last week on my instagram and on my blog and we will get we will get all the information we need and until then i will see you tonight